Hello guys, this video is for Aquarius Sun, though it may also resonate with Aquarius Moon and Aquarius Rising. Please make sure to check out your Sun, your Moon, and your Rising Sign video as you may resonate more fully with that aspect of your personality or persona at any given time. Also keep in mind throughout the reading I will say you did this or you did that. Um, be aware that I know that this can be someone else around you and it may be a situation you know about or you don't and that will affect your perception of whether it resonates. There's no need to justify to me just so you know. Um, if you want to elaborate that's fine. Make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe and also go subscribe to Apocalyptic Tarot, which is my other tarot channel where I will be moving to once it gets enough views to monetize. Hopefully that will help my algorithm because the algorithm on this channel is complete trash. <laughs> All right, guys. So to begin this reading, we have the number eight, which is about um, endings, transformations, or shared resources. This could be shared resources as it relates to um, sexuality or from children or from creative projects. There could be something that's going on as it relates to that, but it's showing that there's things being unearthed as it relates to one of those subjects, either um, an ending, a transformation or shared resources. You're feeling fearful because either a child is involved, a creative project, or a romantic situation. For some of you, this may have um, cycled its way through. There's some sort of ending, but something's not on the books intentionally. Uh, for legal reasons. So you're being strong about this, even though you have conflicts about hiding this situation, you are because of a hidden one-on-one -on -one relationship. Some of you may have been deceived by this person but you're keeping the discretion about the deception. And it could have something to do with a health or a work issue. It's causing a lot of like chaos, a lot of conflicts and fighting and arguments as it relates to a legal matter. For most of you, like I said, this is a work situation, but you created a new chapter and let me see, are working on your stability or your family. And you're inspired to be vigilant about this legal situation and to be discreet about the deception I'm going to tell you just like I told I think it was Sagittarius somebody got screwed here how would you like that if that was you why do you why do you stay quiet about these kind of things because you know somebody got screwed over how would you want them to behave if somebody had done this to you because karma does come back around again I know this can be the other person And I'm just going to be honest with you, for some of you, I feel like a child could be involved in this situation. I don't know what it is, and it's not going to be for everybody, but especially if it's a child.
Yeah. This is, I'm just going to tell you, if you can't be honest with, with other people, how can you expect them to be honest and to trust you? And especially when you see all this chaos going on and you know that you could put some answers or closure out there for someone, but you're choosing not to. This legal situation was hidden at work and you got a new chapter. Because of the transformation, a lot of stuff is coming up from the past, but you're being discreet um, because of a close one-on-one -on -one relationship. I don't give a damn, you're a grown adult. You need to do the right thing here. I'm just gonna be honest with you. Some of you may be dealing with a child molester because I just saw the numbers that equate to potentially family sex and that's gonna be a very minute, minute few, but I do see it. Anyway, so it's causing a lot of chaos. You're feeling um, like you're gonna be discreet about this. You're inspired and fearful of being deceived maybe. So you're being vigilant to end the situation and allow the people to continue and to be quiet about it. You can distance yourself from something and then tell. I'm just saying, that's not an excuse. I know I'm being judgy today, forgive me. I do that every once in a while. I'm seeing a lot of you, you're dealing with a Leo. It says basically, because I'm looking at the cards that look like Leo, there's internal conflict and fearfulness regarding some sort of ending or transformation. You're being strong. That would be potentially a Leo card because Leo is conflicted and was discreet about a deception. It could also be that the Leo was deceived too. It could be both. So you are allowing the chaos here and conflict, creating a new ch chapter and being vigilant. Okay. I don't know what that's about, but that's, I see a lot of Leo there. It doesn't have to be. All right, let's move on. already shuffled these cards but I'm doing it again just so you know it got done you're needing to make a choice and you know you need to make a choice okay first card out truth comes out and you're devastated. You're devastated about a victory. prison, refusing to see the truth, and I always show this, see how she's got the blindfolds on, she can get herself out of this, she's loosely tied, but she's choosing to be the drama queen, the martyr, the sacrifice, so to speak.
thinking it's a badge of honor. Maybe in a mental prison about a past situation or a victory in the past. Or that belonged to a child. Maybe your child was left out in the cold or in the past you were left out in the cold. Interesting, by this Leo. Maybe that's what it is. It says in your in a mental prison because you were left out in the in the past you were left out in the cold and you were optimistic. If this is a child, you have issues with your child. You don't want them to be successful in some way. This Leo person may have already gotten a victory but you don't know about it. Oh no, you probably do know about it actually. Mm. Yeah, I'm dreaming up new ideas because it ended or to end it. Yeah, you ended the choice resourcefully and were left out in the cold and you were optimistic about it. So that would explain why that would happen. You were resourceful because you had anxiety that you took a risk to control being left out in the cold and were optimistic. Okay, so you took a risk to end control of a child or a past choice. The truth came out and you were left out in the cold. You are resourceful. And if there's a Capricorn, because you were resourceful, Capricorn was devastated. Capricorn was optimistic, but Leo had anxiety about a victory and was dreaming up new ideas and was in a mental prison. I don't know what that means. You were devastated about a victory. You were left out in the cold. You were optimistic about a choice to be resourceful about controlling that you were financially invested in some sort of change. I don't know what that means. There's your reading. I'm not going to go deep into that. I think that's enough. Please make sure to like, share, comment, and subscribe. Um, and if you can leave a donation, do that. Um, there will be a link in the description box. Also, don't forget to check out Apocalyptic Tarot, which is where my channel will be moving once it gets enough views to monetize and it will leave from this channel. All right, guys, thank you so much for your support and I will see you again soon. Bye.